Sharon Osbourne is no stranger to controversy. When you're married to the so-called Prince of Darkness, controversy is just one of those things that comes with the territory. Just like her husband Ozzy, Sharon's always been highly opinionated and not afraid to speak her mind. But it looks like this time she's talked herself into some hot water that might have lasting repercussions. Some are even saying she's just effectively ruined her career by creating a toxic environment on the set of CBS's The Talk. We'll explore the specifics of that in a minute, but first let's gather a little bit of info to catch you up to speed. So you've got numerous sources coming forward accusing Miss Osborne of making racist and offensive remarks recently on The Talk. And of course, one of Sharon's reps has already issued a statement denying all these allegations, but that shouldn't surprise anyone. CBS had already put The Talk on a temporary hiatus following a whirlwind of controversy that erupted after Sharon vocalized her support for Piers Morgan. The Piers Morgan Incident Meghan Markle and Prince Harry gave a compelling and remarkably candid interview with Oprah last week, and they detailed some of the more difficult experiences with the royal family. The interview was noteworthy not to mention polarizing because they presented some seriously disturbing allegations that cast the royal family in a less than flattering light. For one thing, Meghan discussed how she and her baby, Archie, have been subjected to racism and prejudice by some members of the royal family. She also painfully recounted how her cries for help were essentially ignored when she was dealing with depression and suicidal thoughts. The interview was met with extremely mixed reactions. Some stood behind the crown and accused Meghan and Harry of being liars, while others, and perhaps the majority, listened to and empathized with the couple. If what they said was true, it meant the royal family was facing not only a reckoning of sorts, but also a major PR disaster. One of the fiercest critics of Meghan and Harry's revelations was Britain's own Piers Morgan, former host of Good Morning Britain and former editor and contributor of The Daily Mirror. He essentially called out Meghan as being a liar and accused her of concocting her claims to mar the royal family's image. On Good Morning Britain, on March 8th and 9th, he said he doubted the accuracy of her account. He even wrote an op-ed for the Daily Mail where he called the interview repulsively disingenuous. He then got into a heated on-air argument with his co-host Alex Beresford, which ultimately led him to walk off the set. Later that day, he announced via social media he was leaving the show for good. For the most part, Pierce's hot take was met with condemnation by both those in the media and by social media users. Morgan attracted a lot of ire over his scathing assessment, with some even calling him racist. And to be fair, by invalidating Meghan's claims and calling her a liar, he was essentially taking the abuser's side. It wasn't a good look. Initially, Sharon Osbourne appeared to champion Morgan's inflammatory views. Or at the least, she expressed her support for his freedom of expression. I am with you. I stand by you. People forget that you're paid for your opinion and that you're speaking your truth, Osborne tweeted. Sharon's defense of Morgan didn't exactly sit well with the public, nor was it warmly received by her co-workers. On the talk, it fueled a heated exchange between her and co-host Cheryl Underwood. Maybe she was just being a drama queen, but Osborne even said she felt like she was about to be put in the electric chair just for having a friend who people think is a racist. Now that CBS has put the talk on hiatus following the fallout from her remarks, she seems to be backpedaling from her previous position. Hey, if you're enjoying this video so far, make sure you give it a like and subscribe to Factsverse if you haven't already and stick around for a lot more about Sharon's controversy. Piers Morgan claims Sharon was bullied and shamed. At this point, Sharon claims she regrets ever getting involved in this sticky situation. Her initial defense of her friend was especially reactionary and prompted a highly charged exchange on her talk show. Now, Sharon is issuing an apology over her hasty reaction to his comments. She claims that she panicked, felt blindsided, got defensive, and allowed her own fear of being accused of being racist to cloud her judgment. In one tweet, she reaffirmed that she'll always support freedom of speech, but made it clear she does not condone racism, misogyny, or bullying. Morgan, on the other hand, refuses to back down. He still maintains his opinions and has refused to issue Meghan and Harry an apology. It doesn't stop there, either. He claims Sharon was shamed and bullied into making an apology. In his mind, Osborne's colleagues and the media used the threat of canceling her to coerce her into retracting her defense of his comments. Believe it or not, Morgan actually believes he's the one who truly deserves an apology. Even though he's likely leaving Good Morning Britain for good, Page Six is reporting Morgan is in good spirits and actually thrives on all this negative attention. This latest chapter is not Sharon's first bout with controversy. In fact, she's run into trouble quite a few times throughout her decades in the spotlight. Here are a few examples. The Iron Maiden Ozfest incident. 
In 2005, during Iron Maiden's final performance at Ozfest, several attendees in the front row, which included members of Sharon's entourage, started bombarding the band with eggs, bottle caps, and ice. Reportedly, Kelly Osborne also took part in throwing things at the band. Several times throughout the performance, the PA system was shut off, which cut off lead singer Bruce Dickinson's microphone and the band's instruments. Audio captured from the concert revealed that Dickinson accused the festival's organizers of intentionally cutting off the band's power. After they left the stage, Sharon went up and told the crowd that while she absolutely loved Iron Maiden, she thought that Bruce was a prick and they had been disrespectful towards Ozfest since they signed on for the tour. Her comments were met with boos, and shortly after she said what she had to say, she stormed off the stage in a huff. The Smashing Pumpkins Incident In 2000, Sharon resigned from her position as manager of the Smashing Pumpkins. She issued a memo which stated that while she's always taken a lot of pride in managing the band, she was resigning due to medical reasons. Sharon says that working with Billy Corgan, the Smashing Pumpkins frontman, was making her sick. So no, she wasn't ill, she was just being spiteful and juvenile. In 2008, she revealed that she and Corgan had since made up. The Catherine Q Incident In 2011, Sharon and several colleagues from the talk came under fire for their comments pertaining to the story of Catherine Q. Q is an American woman convicted of torture and aggravated mayhem in 2013 for cutting off her husband's penis and throwing it into her garbage disposal after catching him with another woman. Osborne laughed about the incident and referred to the horrific crime as quite fabulous. Co-host Sarah Gilbert tried to be the voice of reason, pointing out if the genders were reversed and it was a woman whose genitals were mutilated, no one would be laughing. Sharon shrugged her criticism off, saying it was somehow different. She later apologized for her behavior and comments, stating she was sorry she had offended people and does not support or condone genital mutilation. After that incident, Sharon's co-hosts, Leah Remini and Holly Robinson-Pete, were both released from their contracts. The House Fire Incident Osborne appeared on a British panel show called Would I Lie to You in 2019. The show featured guests who would make statements about themselves, then panelists would try to decide whether their claims were true or false. Sharon made the shocking claim that during a house fire a number of years ago, she had her assistant go back into the burning building to retrieve her art collection. Get out! Help! Go in and get the paintings out! She further claimed she had actually ripped an oxygen mask off her assistant to give to her dog instead. You didn't take I, I the did. mask off him. I took the mask and I put it on my dog. She then fired the poor guy after he didn't find the situation humorous. If you don't think that's funny, do you think this is funny? And he goes, what? I said, you're fired. He apparently believed he might have sustained lung damage from all that smoke inhalation, but she could have cared less. And he said, I think I'm going to have damaged lungs and, and I mean... Please. She faulted him for showing no sense of humor during the fire and told him to kick rocks. After the panelists deliberated, Sharon confirmed the incident was indeed a true story. The clip from the show ended up going viral after it was uploaded to YouTube and was met with a landslide of negative reception. Sharon Osbourne has always been proudly uncouth and rough around the edges. That's her persona. But you'd think she'd be more cautious when choosing her words. Maybe in the future she'll exercise a little more restraint and show more forethought before taking sides on hot-button issues. What do you think of her apology? Do you believe she's actually remorseful for supporting Piers Morgan? Or do you think she just retracted her statement to save face? Let us know what you think in the comments section below. And be sure to give this video a like and subscribe to Factsverse if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.